For me, when you see like a good, simple solution, it, it just makes, it's just completely illogical not to follow through on that. I'm Michael McDaniel, I'm a senior designer here at Frog Design in Austin, Texas. When you think about the aftermath of Katrina, they couldn't figure out how to temporarily house people and house them quickly. It seems like the Federal Emergency Management Agency would have had a plan in place. It was a little shocking for me. So after that, I immediately started sketching out. I was like, well, there's gotta be some kind of mass housing solution. So on um, one of my sketchbooks, I started drawing out like uh, teepees. I was like, there's gotta be a modern teepee. I was drinking coffee and thinking about how a lid went on it. And I was like, oh, if you turned it upside down, you'd have a floor and a top. And based off this one little coffee cup, I started coming up with the design for the EXO, which is kind of the, the cornerstone unit for the entire reaction housing system. There's a magnetic connection here that actually uh, clips in for power and uh, AC. And there's four outlets inside um, that can power cell phones or weather radios. On the inside of this shelter unit, you have four single beds. You can sleep a family of four. They all nest together, almost like you think of um, how IKEA ships things. You can move um, 20 units per like a 53-foot semi-flat bed. When you think about a FEMA trailer or something like that, I think they move those on semi-truck trailers. But you can only move two or three on those. So you're actually moving much greater volumes. Any wide open area, uh, field, parking lots, uh, like this behind us, uh, would be a perfect deployment location for the, uh, the shelter units themselves. Each unit can be set up in under two minutes with a four person team. So if you're thinking about a National Guard deployment, Literally in hours, you could have this field uh, behind me completely set up, air conditioned, climate controls, sheets on the bed, bunks ready to go. It's really exciting for any designer when you think about any project that actually would come to fruition, especially on such a grand scale as this. Uh, it's terribly exciting.